Hello friends, how is everybody doing today? I was making some uh, stamped fabrics for our shops and I thought you guys could come along with me this morning. Um, today I'm gonna to show you uh, my process on mass making stamped ephemera. So this morning I was cutting up some of the large sheets. So I was just making some different ephemera, some all different patterns and uh, I figured you guys could, you know, hang out with me this morning. I just want to show you some, this is actually just um, a great sit on the couch craft. So this is part of our sit on the uh, couch uh, crafts to make and sell series because I usually just use a table tray and I will just grab um, assorted different yards of fabric. So I'll have a white, a cream, and then like a tan color. Yeah, whole yards at a time. So, um, and that fabric is, I got it Michael's, it's um, called uh, Loops and Threads. So um, it's just one yard and um, it's cotton. Okay, so I also want to share with you, you guys know if I have find a great deal, I'm gonna let you know about it. So um, these are from the Dollar Tree. If you guys are familiar, these Crafters Squares series that they have, a whole bunch of different types of crafts. So look how beautiful these uh, clear stamps are just for a dollar, right? And I actually used them this morning, you could tell. Awesome. Super fun, very cute, right? So I just wanted to share that with you. That is my share of the day. And I want to, <coughs> excuse me, share with you uh, my clear stamp, my, uh, uh, my uh, acrylic blocks here. So this one I just bought, um, you could tell it's nice and clean. Um, this is a six by six I just got from, um, I think it was from Joanne's, uh, the company's name is Apple Pie. So great to have a nice big block, it was about $15, but so nice to have because um, with the larger stamps, uh, this is such a big time saver because you can create um, whole themes, right? Um, you can put a whole bunch of different stamps from, you know, different collections and make a whole theme. If you're making a garden theme, you could put grass, you could put birds, um, you could put little trees and flowers, you can, you know, just in one big block. Or to do a time saver, you could just put a whole bunch of stuff in lines and then stamp. Since you're doing, um, these are great if you're going to be using like large pieces of fabric at a time. Big time saver. Okay, so uh, this one is a six by two. This one is a three by three. And this was, these were all in a set, these smaller ones. A two by two, um, one and a half by one and a half, one and a quarter, and then just a one inch. These um, had gotten on Amazon. I think they were like $10 for the set of seven, which is phenomenal. Okay, and um, before I start, I want to show you the um, different um, distress inks that I use. These are the ones that, pretty much the only ones that I personally use, but um, these are Tim Holtz. This one is called Black Soot. It's a nice um, nice black, it's not too dark, it's, it's a nice color. This one is called Vintage Photo, love. This one, this uh, Distress Ink, um, these are all Tim Holtz, by the way, is called Ground Espresso. Like the, the cover looks um, gray, but it's a nice brownish color, so love it. And for a lighter background when you're doing your um, backgrounds, this is called uh, Tea Dye. And this is a nice light little, um, brown just to add to your backgrounds you'll see in a second okay so we did this whole pile this morning like it did probably probably like a hundred in here it took me about an hour um and sometimes i just stamp and i don't i don't cut them until i need them but it depends on you know your your time that you have so these are just ones that i have done with the script so this is the espresso a little black sunflower Okay, so these are ones that I did just plain, no background. So these are um, the, um, what is that? Um, the tea dye, 
with and I did some in black so we did different colors right and then um, another one another one with flowers that's just plain so as you can see I just stamped like I just I didn't measure I don't really measure very much so with my larger um, stamps I was able to these are all different little flowers clip stamps but I just put them on the block together to give a little you know different floral theme because the little ones are too small to kind of just cut out so creating a, like a, a theme is you know kind of nice so this is just the um ground espresso here so that's two versions um see these are what they look like with the different scripts you don't have to add script that's why i'm showing you the ones that don't have any so <clears throat> when you're putting them on a large piece of fabric um you could, when you're doing them on a large piece of fabric, you can do half your piece of fabric with script and half just plain. So sometimes what I do is I leave, I stamp them in a row and I leave them together because if you want to use this for a belly band or um, you're going to um, stitch it with um, several different pieces, um, it's kind of nice to have like a long strip of whatever you're using. So... They're kind of fun sometimes I do leave these strips because like I like to use them together so some more samples of um, I just stamped so this last night what I did was I just I just what did I do I just stamped like I had these are just some scrap pieces but I just stamped right I just went I took all my scrap pieces that I had laying around and I just took pieces and then stamped so you can just see I just randomly made the different pieces here so this was a large piece I had laying around I just did my Eiffel Towers right so this is to optimize my space I just staggered all these so a whole bunch of different uh, stamps based on you know the size that I had so doing them in large quantities is good so these are just little pieces so this is a um this was a whole yard this is just a piece of the whole yard i can i cut them out this morning but this is i just stamped this is 36 inches of just stamped fabric and then i just cut them out as i needed them so okay again the same thing with this i just um I went along and I just stamped all different. I try to keep the theme of what I want on the same piece of fabric. So this way I know if I wanted to do my, my vintage ladies, you know, I, I just stuffed the birds and that's in there. But if I want to do my vintage ladies, I have pretty much all the, the stuff here and I could just cut as I go, you know? So, um, Yeah, so this was, I want to show you the the six by six here. So for the six by six here, I these are all individual stamps in these different sections here. So I put them on the stamp. I, these are all these different ones, right? And I created like a little, a little theme, a, a scene here. So this would be one and then this would be, you know, so having the larger stamp really helped me a lot because it's such a big time saver. And if I wanted to cut these out individually, I can. So, or if I wanted to keep it, you know, and that's it. So the same with these, I just took all of these little wheels and clocks and stuff and I just put them all together. And these little butterflies created a little theme. Okay, so, um, and again, this was a large piece that I just randomly stamped. This. I'm leaving these blanks so there's no script. So this is like the different different ideas to show you. Okay. So I have a pre-cut piece here so you guys don't have to watch me fiddle through um, my stuff. All right. So I'm going to use my um, vintage photo here. And I have um, my script. Oh, sorry, guys. My script fabric, I'm going to use my new um, 
this is actually one of the reasons I bought this mainly for this stamp because it's so big and I didn't have anything right so now I could stamp in a large larger area and get more done in one time so all right we're just going to do a little I want it to be um kind of light so I'm not really going to go crazy with the stamping you know I just want to do a little bit so I just want to go and I want to stamp along here so we're not going to press too heavy we're just going to right you can see how it fade it's starting to fade a little bit and that's okay because you just want a little bit all right and yes it's going to overlap a little bit that's okay right so we have a very light stamping here the first one is always the darkest but that's okay so it's very light right okay so I had pre-picked out some stamps that I want you guys to see so I did the um the brown background and I wanted to do a little contrast with the um the black image here so I just wanted to show you some ones that I have I I was working on this morning. So I have this little um, uh, dress form here. And I actually pay 25 cents for it at a thrift store, as you can see. Huh. Love a good deal, right guys? All right, so I have my little floral script here. So I just wanted to kind of, well, and also you want to give, assuming that the person's going to be either slow stitching or kind of um, putting it on a, um, snippet roll or a um you know slow stitch whatever you want to give a little at least a half an inch around the outside so we're going to stamp this we use the um ground espresso i mean we use the um, vintage photo and i'm going using the black so right away you can see all the different images so since we're mass making we could make a whole bunch right so um, we'll do one more of these guys. How awesome is that? So now, let's see. I want to make um, my little, make a little vintage shoe. I'll cut out some little shoes here. Right? So now we have our little shoes. Maybe I try some of my little birds that I got had gotten at the Dollar Tree to show you guys. Right? All right, so let's see. I'll stamp some of my birds. I'll use my little two by two inch acrylic block here. This is kind of like an awkward shape, but Right, so we have all different themes here, but you can, sometimes I do, if I'm working on something specific, I'll just use one particular theme, but I'll just show you. Right, so we are gonna go, let's try some, let's see, try another bird here. And I'll put this on my three by three block. So this is just to show you the amount of time this would take you guys. Right? We have our backgrounds all set. And if you're if you're pre-stamping your backgrounds with the script, if you are using, you don't have to use it. But if you're pre-stamping ahead of time your script, you're just taking your stamps and you're stamping away. And there, right? We have five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven images in just a couple minutes, right? So that's how you guys can do that. You can leave them like this, 
right? You can, you could just leave it like this, right? Or you can just cut them up. You could take your uh, rotary blade. You don't have to use a rotary blade, but um, let's see. You can use your ruler. I usually just don't measure. Oh, this was doing to me this all morning. Just kept. Anyway, so you guys can use your cutting, your rotary blade. You could just cut with scissors and then just, you know, keep cutting them out. So now we have stuff ready to go for our next journal or whatever we are working on. So, um, and you can always go along and add some more. If you want a little um, darker um, background, you can add some little, let me show you. So I have this stamp here. I also got at a thrift store, but look how beautiful the design is, right? So maybe I'll just go and add like a little, you know, background, right? Just to give a little, pizzazz, you know, just randomly kind of give a little, right? So you can add, you could, you know, just leave it simple. You could leave them blank. They're just as fine, right? So when we sell ours, we sell both. We sell them, the, um, you know, with backgrounds and without. So um, there you go. I'm not going to sit here and cut them all because I'm going to bore you guys to tears, but I just want to show you my process of mass making our fabric ephemera. So that's it. So basically you can do this on the couch. You just need your fabric, your stamps, right? And then your inks and you're good. Like I said, I just sit with a, um, um, a little table and I just stamp away. Um, one night you could sit and take your um, large pieces of fabric and just do the background. And then maybe another night, just stamp, you know, but um, look how good this is. And now like when you're ready, you could pack them up. And when you're ready, you could just cut them up, right? So I just wanted to share this little process with you of what I was doing this morning. If you guys are planning to um, sell these, mass making them is the way to go. Like if you, if you're selling stuff, make like, um, if you saw my video on the uh, mass making of the journal signatures, that was kind of fun. So, um, making things in bulk is, um, you know, a lot easier to go if you're, especially if you're selling. Oh, I want to share a little trick with you guys real quick. Um, someone showed me this, um, DIY dauber. These guys, a friend of mine showed me this and um, these are really great. If you are, if you have a stamp and you just want to stamp one little part, you don't want the whole image. This little dauber is so cool to just do a little area. And I was wondering how she did her. So basically what this is, is this a tube? She had given this, this was from a makeup brush and the tube, the end of it comes off. And she just cut the tube like here, a piece of it, right? And then she stuck a um, foundation applicator inside of it. And that's exactly what this is. So let me show you here. So this is, that's a round one, but um, basically what she just did was she just stuck it down here like this. And made a dauber. Oh, I forgot how she did it. Yep, this is it. And then just uses it. Oh, this one keeps falling out. I think she, I think it's the round one. Ha, huh, sorry guys. All right, so it is the round one here. And then she just stuck her finger in here. I'm just trying to show you guys to give you guys a little easy DIY.
yeah, it's the round one. So this is what she did. And that's it. How cool is that? I didn't do her proud by um, messing up the first one, but it is the round, um, the round makeup applier. But look how cool that is, right? A little easy DIY. And that works out great, like I said, when we have the smaller um, stamp and you just want to use a little part of the stamp, you just stamp that. And this is so much easier. It's just a little DIY I want to share with you guys. It's not a great, like the, I'm sure it's been out there for a long time. But um, anyway, I hope this guys helps you guys, helps you guys um, out a little bit to get inspired to um, start journaling and get crafty. So again, this is a part of our um, sit on the couch crafts to make and sell series. And um, thank you again. Thank you for all your support. And we really appreciate everything. And thanks for um, hanging out with me this morning. And I will be talking to you guys real soon. Thank you.